Jocelyn, I am your king. I don't think Darth Vader smiles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I am celebrating Star Wars. 40th anniversary by caking a stormtrooper helmet. Well, this clearly proves one thing to me. Everything amazing was born in 1977. Who agrees? Anyone watching born in 1977 like me, please leave a comment below. I will find the comment and I will comment back. You guys probably know way more about Star Wars than I do, I'll admit it. But one thing I know is that Stormtrooper helmets are actually made out of 20 pounds of my ultimate chocolate cake. What? 20 pounds. I removed all of my cake from their pans, leveled them, and then sliced each cake into two layers for a total of 10 layers of cake. Sir Squeeze-a-Lot was honored to take part in this 40th Star Wars anniversary, and he simple syruped all of my cake layers. He was like a stormtrooper. He was like a syrup trooper. A s yeah. Go with it. Now that my simple syrup has soaked in, I'm going to stack all of my cake layers, filling them with my Italian meringue butter cream. And I'm just gonna reserve one final cake layer. So I chilled my cake until the buttercream was set to make it easier to sculpt. Then I procrastinated for 40 minutes because I wasn't ready to sculpt. I really procrastinated. Honestly, it was so hard. I began by carving like the upper part of the helmet, which is like smooth. He's got a big forehead. And then he has like part of the helmet like comes out over here. And then I used my last layer of cake, which I reserved, to bulk up the front for his like ventilation. <laughs> I basically took that layer, cut it in half, and then I layered them onto the front of my... Why am I doing this? <laughs> Jeremy, what does she do when she procrastinates? A lot of moaning, crying. I say I want to cry a lot. I look at my phone a lot to look at pictures of stormtroopers, but then it just confuses me. Jeremy found plans for a stormtrooper helmet. Plans, like, like, like a blueprint. And then I collected props. <clears throat> so this is a stormtrooper. This is a dirty stormtrooper. I really wanna wash this mask, but it's paper. Chewbacca and I are the two hairiest 40 year olds of all time. Once I was finished with the carving, I crumb coated and chilled this baby. <clears throat> Prepare yourselves. Crumb coat and chill. Crumb coat and chill. This is not a smooth. Can you edit this out? <laughs> Hold on. After the crumb coat was chilled, I iced my cake one more time, trying to get my buttercream as smooth as possible, and chilled it again. If you enjoy watching the character cakes that I have cried over and moaned over while making, there's an entire playlist of them right here. This is like the best pop I've ever had, and I'm so glad I don't have to wear it on my head. <laughs> Before covering my Stormtrooper helmet cake in fondant, I'm going to build out parts of the cake with fondant underneath to help me reach the shape that I'm looking for. Starting with, I don't even remember, it's a blur. Really, it's a moaning blur. Uh, the first thing I did actually was I rolled a big black band of fondant and I covered the bottom of the helmet because really you would pick up this helmet and put it on. So I wanted to give the illusion of like space underneath and then I began to build out areas of the cake with some white fondant. I built out the like snout ventilation. And then I built out the like holes at the front of his face where like the speakers go. Are they speakers?
I built up his big forehead. I put a layer of fondant over his forehead. Hey, yo, the Stormtrooper has a bulky face. The Stormtrooper <laughs> totally has a bulky face. If you are a true fan and you know what I'm talking about, hashtag bulky face below. I feel like Stormtroopers jumped out of a Daft Punk video, even though they are older than Daft Punk. I know this, but can't you just see them dancing? That would be amazing. So now it's time to cover the whole thing. Yes, and I'm not procrastinating because this is going to be really easy. There's nothing easier, in fact, than rolling out seven pounds of white fondant, then trying to lift it up on a French rolling pin and trying to drape it over a giant cake. And then I had the pleasure of trying to smooth it all before it started to crack off. <sighs> That's, That's the sign. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that's I do. It. There's that's a like, lot of that. You know, more procrastinating. So now I looked at my phone uh, 40,000 times and was just studying all the details. And what I did is I used my small fondant rolling pin to roll out some gray fondant, some black fondant, and some blue fondant to make all of those details. Speaking of characters, the incredible Gustav, who is a fan of how to cake it and a visual artist, has drawn me, once again, in character form, and I look completely dope. And I want you guys to see his video where he makes this illustration from start to finish. Please check it out. Orhan, can we do a split screen of me on this metal chair and the Gustav version of me on a cake drum? Go! I'm not winning. I already know. It's now time for me to make all the details of this Stormtrooper. I basically just kept looking at a reference picture and then tackling the details one by one with all of my rolled out colors of fondant. My best advice when tackling cakes like this are to be patient, take your time. You wanna ensure that all of the details on your helmet, whether they lay on the right side or the left side, are the same size and shape, so make them together. And if you wanna moan to yourself, it's fine. If you wanna let the tears flow, it's fine. At least nobody's filming you, Jeremy. <laughs> Like, listen, you can't let fear stop you. That's the thing. I was scared to make this. I don't know anything about stormtroopers, clearly. Um, but I wanted to do it. You know, the further I got, the more I wanted to actually complete it. For those of you who belong to the Cake Tea Club, this month's tea is the You Had Me at Cake Tea. You Had Me at Cake. And this month, Cake Tea Club members also get this drawstring bag for free. It's perfect for all your t-shirts. Dust. Areas, I, I want now. I want one. <laughs> I think that I think they're filters. Filters. They're okay. like built-in air purifiers. Air, of course. Jocelyn was there. <laughs> Jocelyn's like it's so that they can breathe pure air. Organic. Air. Yes, organic <laughs> air. <laughs> I painted uh, the inside of his goggles, so when the helmet was complete, I mixed a little bit of clear piping gel with water, and then I carefully brushed on just the black inner part of the shoes. 
And then I threw the stormtrooper a party because he's 40 like me. Woohoo! And I hope someone will throw me a party, not just throw confetti in my face for the third year in a row. Thank you for watching How to Cake It. I want to wish a very happy 40th anniversary to Star Wars. Don't forget to hashtag 1977 if you're with me. I see you. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification.